Welcome back, my fellow patriots, to the Save Our Republic daily video series. Today, we're marching on to the 25th Amendment. If you're really interested in this, you need to go visit the Patriot Lessons American History and Civics podcast available on all major podcast platforms because there's a real in-depth dive in connection with the 25th Amendment. And of course, we're going to be much higher level here. In 1967, this 25th Amendment was ratified and it eliminated some uh, major concerns about how presidential succession and vice presidential succession uh, is implemented. And it in part was uh, adopted because of the assassination of John F. Kennedy. He did die, but he was alive after he was shot uh, in the head and sustained a, a grievous head wound. And there was some concern that if he had survived, what would happen to the presidency? So this amendment really eliminates most of the ambiguities and concerns and kind of gaps in the original Constitution that exist in connection with the vice presidency and the presidency. So first, it clearly provides that if the president dies, is incapacitated, or is impeached out of office or resigns, whatever, that his replacement is the vice president. If then there's a provision for replacement of the vice president, because it used to be in the original Constitution there was no mechanism to replace the vice president. And so there were vacancies in the course of our history. 25th Amendment lays to rest those concerns. It provides that the president has the ability to nominate a successor to the vice president, and that must be approved by majorities of the House and the Senate. And that person, he or she, would take the role of the vice president. It also provides that the president, on his or her own, can um, basically declare that he will be um, incapacitated or otherwise delegating his authority to the vice president for either a fixed time or a fixed circumstance. This has been invoked a couple of times with presidents who have been uh, heavily sedated in connection with um, medical procedures, and they've basically relinquished the presidency to the vice president until they are uh, back up to snuff and are, are clear-minded and be able to fulfill their duties as president. It also provides, and this is where it came up in connection with President Trump, that the vice president can write a letter with uh, a majority of the principal uh, members of the cabinet, in other words, the department heads of the cabinet, and if a majority of them plus the vice president declare that the president is um, incapacitated or otherwise unable to effectuate his duties, then um, that basically suspends the president's powers and then the vice president becomes president. But the president can then counter that by submitting his or her own letter. And then basically it's up to the, um, the Congress to make the decision. So this was a really was not designed for purposes of um, basically you know, replacing somebody because of political differences or because they felt uh, that they had done something wrong in office. It really was intended for incapacitation. Um, and, and that's really how that should be read. And um, uh, that's why there's a very high hurdle for the president's own uh, majority of a cabinet and his own or her own vice president to move forward in this way. That, that would be extraordinarily rare. Um, in any circumstances other than true incapacitation. So, for example, JFK is shot. He's not dead. He's incapacitated. Vice President and a majority of the cabinet send the letter, and then the vice president takes over um, the presidential duties. So, uh, otherwise, the, he would have to be impeached, right? If this thing didn't exist, the way to remove the president would be impeachment, um, which was, a you know, a, an awkward and... and um, method and, and slow method, not the method that uh, would be in the best interest of the country. So the 25th Amendment addresses that. Until next time, don't forget about America's Survival Guide at americasurvivalguide.com, Patriot Week at patriot.org, the Patriot Lessons American History and Civics Podcast. Don't forget there's one on this issue and it is significantly more detailed and in-depth. It has Bombastic Brent Bassett, Mike Gerard, and other um, goodies in that episode. So I highly recommend you watch that if you are interested in the 25th Amendment. Till next time, God bless you. 
God bless America.